strong earthquake in Chile, magnitude 5.7 in the Atacama Desert. Can that earthquake trigger the Lascar volcano, a stratovolcano, and yes, again, it's the Pacific Ring of Fire again. But why could it trigger the Lascar volcano? Because that has happened before in 2021. Let's look into this. This is really, really interesting what's happening there. The Lascar Stratovolcano is part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. I just released a video about that. The Pacific Ring of Fire is a chain of volcanoes and earthquake fault lines, mostly subduction zones that encircle the Pacific Ocean. And Lascar lies within the Andes Mountains of Chile and it's located in this seismically and volcanically active region. It lies within the central volcanic region of the Andes. It, that's basically a volcanic arc that spans Peru, Bolivia, Argentina, and Chile. And of course, along the Pacific Ring of Fire, you can see these volcanoes like in a row. But Lascar is the most active volcano in the region. It has records of erupting that date back till 1848. And it's composed of two separate cones with several summit craters that could erupt. And the last time when it erupted, it was triggered by a similar earthquake, like the one that we just had. Let's talk about the earthquake first a little bit before we draw the connection. So the northern part of Chile's Atacama Desert was hit by this powerful magnitude 5.7 earthquake last night. And the hypocenter was located at a depth of 99 kilometers and the epicenter was located basically 66 kilometers northeast of Huara. That's a village or a town, I, I would rather say small town, that has roughly 1100 people that live there. And the, the earthquake was very deep. And because of the depth of this epicenter, and of course the remote location of this epicenter in a desert area, there was no major damage to buildings because the deeper the earthquake, the less it is felt or the less shaking it produces versus the ones that are very shallow. So no infrastructure is damaged, no building so far, but nevertheless, the quake was clearly felt over quite a large area. So maybe as far as Peru, that's basically more than 300, 350 miles away from the epicenter. And this earthquake was related to a subduction zone that is similar to the ones that we have here on the west coast of the US and Canada, the Cascadia Fault. So it was not directly on the coast, but related to that subduction zone along a deep ocean trends that runs off the coast of Peru and also Chile. And there, what do we have? We've talked about that plate quite often in my last videos when all these earthquakes were happening. And also in my video that the Pacific Ring of Fire is unusually active right now with earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. So the Nazca plate is sliding underneath the South American plate. It's really sliding down. It's a subduction zone. And the great depth of this earthquake basically tells us that the earthquake occurred in a part of the crust that is very, very subducted underneath the ocean, basically in the layer between the Earth's mantle and the Earth's crust. And we do know from history, so this is scientifically proven, that earthquakes can trigger volcanic eruptions. We've also had that already in Japan when there were big earthquakes, magnitude 7 plus, we've had it in Russia. So volcanic eruptions can be triggered, but they can also be prevented. It depends on what is happening at the volcano at the specific conditions. And that epicenter of this earthquake, there are several volcanoes that are close by that potentially could be affected by this earthquake. But none of these other volcanoes seems to be close to an eruption. There's no indication that land is rising, magma is rising up or anything like this. But Lascar has erupted 
at the end of 2022 in September with a 5.6 magnitude earthquake that was striking nearby the volcano. It was a very explosive eruption. And Lascars also in Chile's Atacama Desert, right? So it's not a different area. And it was spewing up ash quite high up to an altitude of like 8,400 meters. There were some minor signs that the volcano was charging prior to that earthquake, like some heat anomalies. And they think that the eruption might have been triggered by the magnitude 5.6 earthquake that was close to the volcano. And Lascar is very capable of producing large eruptions, like high ash clouds high up in the atmosphere. And these, these clouds in that special region are known to trigger volcanic thunderstorms. So you see these massive lightning strikes and impressive pictures. There was another major eruption that occurred at Lascar, and that was in 1993. That was a volcanic index eruption of stage four, and moderate eruptions occurred in 2006 and 2015. And Atacama Desert is more and more popular because it has some rare earth minerals like lithium. There's lithium mining going on in this desert. And it's one of the driest places in the world. So will this magnitude 5.7 earthquake that just happened today trigger the volcano? That is the big question. We have to say today's earthquake was a little further away from the volcano than the last time. But the last time the volcano did erupt. So it remains to be seen if that has shaken up the magma chamber underneath. If it has shaken the rocks enough so that they would be more brittle so that magma could infiltrate so that it would be easy for magma to reach the surface because that's what magma likes it always takes the way of least resistance to get up to the surface so i hope you found this interesting guys if you did subscribe like the video if you want to support the channel check the links in the description i have a buy me a coffee site where i will answer everyone that sends me a message there with a video message and you can video me back so we can actually see each other and have a conversation. I really, really like that. They added that feature recently. So buymeacoffee.com slash silky in the description. Thanks for supporting this channel. Check out the videos in the end screen. Really interesting things going on in Switzerland and really scary, threatening things are going on in Italy at the Campi Flegri supervolcano. Stay safe, be prepared and be on the pulse with me in the next video here in the end screen, guys. Bye bye.